Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 4 of this video series. In the last part we had done with the implementation of adding the role in the database by using the concept uh, of the entity framework core data seeding. Uh, let's flip to the SQL server for watching the roles we created. When I execute this query ASP.NET role, you can have a look I had created 3 roles. And in the last part, I created a user and associate uh, that user to a role ID that is 6F. So 6F or blah, blah, blah is related to the HR. And this user is, I guess, this one, Ali. So he is HR according to the ASP.NET user role. So if you have not watched the previous part, then please uh, proceed to uh, the previous, uh, all the videos and then come to the next, this one. So we will be implementing the email functionality part. Uh, like if you watch this uh, column email uh, it looks like the email uh, doesn't seems to be authentic user has provided the false information and we have just let him add it in the database so what we need to do if user provide any email address while getting sign up we will be sending him we will be sending him an email with a token once he click that token he will be uh, getting the access to login or to provide uh, any operation and uh, once he, his email is not confirmed so we will be doing what we will be locking his account so we will be configuring all the things but let's target the email functionality in this video for now uh, sending the email we will be using a library that is mail kit let's flip to the visual studio and add a new uh, project here for this one uh, let's add a new project class library dot net standard dot net core click to the next and name it as user dot manage rent dot service So we have created a separate project, uh, like you can say it's a class library. Let's create this class, right click and remove. Okay. So we remove that class from here and now let's come back to the API project and app setting. You can have a look in the app setting. I have added a new configuration. Uh, that is e related to the email configuration. So this is my email from which I am going to send the email to all the user. So uh, SMTP server remains the same, port is 465 and user name remains the same. But the password is not the password for this Gmail ID. Basically it's an app password. And please do not try this password because it is false information provided in the video. I will be changing it while sending. <laughs> so how can you get this app password? Uh, let's Go to the gmail account setting you need to do just click on this icon and go to your account setting account and when you go to the set this setting comes to the setting click on the security option and you will have to enable this uh, option to step verification once you are done with this uh, you will have to come to this app password option and you can create your own so it will be asking me a password so you can have a look i have created a app password you can create like this select app mail select the device like i have a windows computer and once you click the generate it will show a pop-up in that pop-up you will be provided a password that just copy that password and come to the visual studio and paste it here so this is all we have done with the email configuration and now come back to the service and add a library manage new kit package and browse mail.net core mail kit net core dot mail kit so first option install the latest version okay, while it is getting installed I'm going to add a folder or vector for this project. Let's add the folder models. Let's add another one. Name it as services. Yeah, 
in the models folder i'm going to add two classes one is for the configuration and another for the request um, class let's add class name as email configuration in that class remove all these unnecessary namespaces we are not using it and let's paste this property equals to no not these properties should not be null okay so this is the email configuration now create another class name it as message okay i have copy and pasted uh, all the properties just for saving the time so i will have to add the namespace mime kit it's basically coming from this library which uh, we just installed and uh, because i have a latest and updated version of so i need to provide email. so this is all this is not any uh, complicated or you can say rocket science code so we all and all i just created the properties in two classes in email configuration and message so this is a kind like a request body for sending the email so now i will be going to the service and adding an interface i email service let's remove all this and add a method void send email and we need a request object that is message and we have created this beside the reference message okay now we need to create a class and implement the service email service let's copy this and come here and implement paste it here remove all these unnecessary usings press control dot implement the interface now here is the method and we need to write the implementation of this method so i will be copying and pasting the code uh, and will be explaining it to you right so i have copy and paste let's press control m o now you can have a look first i define a property for the email configuration it will be getting all the configuration from that app setting file which we just uh, created added a configuration in the app setting like uh, it will be picking everything from upside here come back to here okay so we get all the configuration related thing to in this object and then we have a method of send email this send email is calling a method create email message so we separated a method for creating a my mail message here is the implementation but you create object of my message and from which you are going to send so it will be picking mail config dot from from we have set in the app setting and here is the option for whom you are going to send this is coming from this request object and here's the subject and this is a body so whatever you want to send in the content so we will be appending it here message dot content and it's returning the email message so we are providing this here and in the last we are sending that email message so whatever it's written from this method we are providing it as a request and sending it so you can have a look first we connect and then authenticate dot remove x o r 2 and then we authenticate the client by providing the username and password the username is provided in the app setting and password is that app password which we also created in the app setting and now this is the main method uh, from this smtp client and make sure use this uh, reference mailkit.net.smtp dot smtp because uh, this smtp client is also present in the system dot net dot mail so this can be a blender from your side so
be aware of this thing and then we are just adding catch and finally and closing everything now this is the implementation don't worry about the implementation i will be adding the code uh, in on github very soon once we completed a few uh, functionality so i will be sharing the code with you you can have a look and write the code, your own code till now okay so we are done with the code let's check this code uh right uh, Come now we need to configure. Let's come to the program because we don't have startup in the .NET 6, so we need to. Okay. Now upside here. Add email config. Okay. Before adding the email configuration, we need to add the reference of the service project to the API project. Add project reference. Select this project. Click OK. And then I added this line via email config. Configuration C is small here. Configuration. It's fine now. Dot get section and the section name is email configuration in the app setting. Now dot get here is the class which we created in the model. Press control period to add the reference. Okay, so I'm not getting the this class reference here just because this class was internal let's make it public now also i need to see should be public this was the mistake now come back here control dot now you can have a look that we are getting the reference okay, so email configuration has been added now the next thing Okay, so let's make it everything as public. Okay, now it's time to register the service uh, for the dependency injection. I email. Okay, so I have added I email service is also internal, I guess. Let me check. I email service, yes, make it as public. Fine, now let's come back here. Okay, we are good. Now it's time to call that service on the controller. Let's add controller method for just checking http get it's just for checking purpose and yes email just change the message email sent successfully now it's time to add private read only and I email email service add the reference here control dot user management dot service email service let's copy and paste it here remove this configuration we are not using any configuration right now Okay, 
okay here we need to call this dot send email so it is taking a message object so first create our message is equals to new message capital m p double s a p control period user management dot service model and provide this message Content is test and whom we want to send. So I will be sending it to my email. is testing email okay now come back here be copy paste all right i'm doing something wrong so when i go here okay, i need to initialize this in the constructor so let's copy this here and oh what it wants subject subject is test content which one subscribe to my channel Okay, now let's remove all this thing. We don't require. Uh, I was making a mistake. Let's make it to the next line for better visibility. Okay, let's run this. Not any synchronous call. so we have a method get method here let's try it out and execute fully we will be receiving the email okay so you can have a look uh, the success message email sent successfully so let's go to the gmail account and check that email is has come or not yes you can have a look i have received this email subscribe to my channel and okay we can configure this Data. so we will be using this method uh, for sending the token to the user so i hope uh, this video clears your concept and this would be really helpful for you if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video take care love is